Hello. Today I have decided to talk something about the art of living. So this question comes to my mind time and again and I do ponder over this issue and I do think that has this line reflected in my life also or not. Now when I think of this line the art of living then I have come to the conclusion that I have not yet learned the real art of living which is absolutely unattainable and only a few people can attain this unattainable and that is because we are hankering after this materialistic gains. We want to lead a life where we should have everything and we don't want to we don't want to deprive we don't want to be deprived of any thing which is materialistically very good so that is a very bad thing on our part so if you want to lead a happy life then money and happy life has got nothing to do with each other they are not interconnected if you think that by earning more and more money you will be able to lead a happy and prosperous life then that is absolutely useless thing you are living in fool's cast you are living in fool's paradise so in that way now if a person is poor and if he doesn't have high ambitions in his life then he will be able to lead a happy and prosperous life that is the key to lead a happy and prosperous life because he just wants to stick to the basics suppose a person is disciplined in his life and he has the tendency to get up early in the morning and take a bath and remember God Almighty and thereafter do his domestic work and regular work so that will be the biggest thing of our life so if we want to lead a happy and prosperous life then we will have to be disciplined <coughs> we will have to think that if we are leading a disciplined life or not and if we are not doing so then we must uh, stop hankering after the materialistic world and we must uh, ponder over this matter seriously how to lead this life in a good way so this question uh, this is indeed an enigma this is indeed an enigmatic question how to lead a peaceful and life and what is the real art of living so this is a very important thing now you must keep one thing in your mind that this human life is too fragile to move anymore if you think that you can lead a happy life forever and nothing will happen to you in future then you are certainly at fault because you must admit one thing that all the people are in this world are mortal we are all mortal beings and our soul is indestructible but our body is destructible anything can happen to our body or our relatives or our anything anyone can go to meet his maker or he may also succumb to injuries so in that way if you are ready to admit the fact that no one is indispensable in this world then you will certainly be able to lead a happy and prosperous life so now i have seen many people who have lost their dear ones and near ones but they have indeed not lost their instinct of leading a happy life so our don't let your inner instinct die and that inner instinct is always try to be happy in any eventuality if you are not happy in any eventuality then you will certainly be leading a very miserable life so our sweetest songs are those that tell of our saddest thoughts this has become the reality of our life because we always repent and we always complain for our ill luck and ill fortune so that is not good thing if we meet a person we tell him about his about our misery 
so is it do, doing so is it necessary to do so we are not supposed to tell our miseries to anyone because they will make mockery of us and they will try to look down upon us so in that way so if you want to lead a happy and prosperous life then you will have to keep your one thing that you will have to be disciplined in your life and don't ever think that all your relatives all your friends will remain in this world forever anything can happen to anyone and we are not supposed to we are not supposed to weep for our dear ones if we have lost anyone because what cannot be cured must be endured so if by weeping too much if we can bring our relatives back then we can go ahead in that regard but if you think that by weeping you cannot mend fences you cannot make things right then it is no use wasting your time in lamenting the loss of your dear ones and near ones so in my view if we want to lead a happy and prosperous life then we will have to be disciplined we will have to admit one thing that we are not going to kill our inner instinct and our inner feeling of happiness we many times we feel that there is a need to be happy that we should feel happy but we are surrounded by the domestic problems and those problems keep haunting us and in that way eventually we have totally forgotten to lead a happy and prosperous life so this is indeed a real art of living so you must admit one thing that we don't know how long we are going to survive in this world so if we don't if we don't have the the anything the world is the our life is absolutely unpredictable so if we don't know what will happen in future then there is no need to be sad or disappointed or disillusioned so always think that money and uh, happiness has got nothing to do with each other and may i have seen many people who are wealthy but uh, who are leading a very miserable life and who have forgotten the true happiness and they are leading a life of like a robot they are working day and night and they are burning the lamps burning the candle at both ends in order to achieve man success so that is a very bad thing so and i have seen many poor people who are living in villages but they have not lost their inner feeling their inner instinct of getting happy so we must behave like a child we should have a child like happiness so so that we may get a true uh, happiness in this world so whenever you whenever we see a rainbow now if a child sees a rainbow in the sky he uh, he is overjoyed and he is absolutely on cloud 9 but when we see the rainbow we don't have any kind of reaction we don't show any kind of reaction because we are completely surrounded by our problems so is this the life we are not supposed to do so now if we are traveling in a bus or train we have forgotten we don't look outside and we don't want to enjoy the scenery there because we are absorbed in our own work so that is also not good we must enjoy everything we must enjoy the moment if we are eating we must take full enjoy in eating that thing and if we are drinking something we must take full enjoy in drinking that thing but we are absolutely in a very miserable condition these days and because we don't want to spend our time with our family members with our relatives we just want to be alone we have started liking aloofness and we are fully detached from our family and social bondage that is very bad we are supposed to meet people and we are supposed to so love and affection to other people so that our life may be absolutely 
fantastic and sometimes we think that since we are suffering from a problem then how can we lead a happy and prosperous life before solving that problem so do you think that after solving that problem you will have no problem in future then you are certainly very wrong because you must keep one thing in your mind that problems are bound to come in our life the more we live lead our life the more we are going to face the problems but when facing these problems if we think that we should uh, stop leading a happy and prosperous life and our normal life then that will be the end of your life god almighty will also be disappointed to see that the person whom he had sent on this earth has indeed has indeed disappointed him so i have seen many people who have been struggling in their life immensely but they have not lost their charm of leading this life they have they still have the charm in this life and if you don't have any kind of charm in this life and if you think that you are fully surrounded by problems and and you will certainly succumb to those problems and eventually your life will be ended so in future you will have to think properly that don't indulge in overthinking don't overthink just enjoy the moment if you see something beautiful just enjoy it and don't think so that you will not enjoy anything before something else is something else is solved some other problem will be solved so no your problems will not be solved in that way and instead of that you will be in infected with many diseases which are bound to come if you are leading a tense and miserable life so keep these things in your life and try to lead a happy and prosperous life and in that way this will be the certainly a real art of